I don't know why I'm laughing. I've got a sore head. You like a coat? Camel hair. It is genuine camel hair. It is. Don't you believe me? Look at that. Look at that. Just before the show, the producer took me to one side and he left me there. <laughs> he said to me, he said, how do you feel tonight? I said, well, I feel a little bit funny. He said, well, get out there before it wears off. <laughs> oh, I'm so fed up with people picking on me. <laughs> Crazy cars. <laughs> I've been to a fake bar. Wearing glasses. Oh. <laughs> 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 the sea's getting up, Bolson. It's a bit late this morning, sir. <laughs> I've got a feeling this whole operation is coming apart. Uh, what do you mean, sir? What do I mean? <laughs> oh, uh, I'll get it fixed. I'll get it fixed. OK. Right. Yeah, Bolson, Bolson, take the wheel. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Have we got time for more? I shall now produce from this empty cloth four live ducks. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got away again. <laughs> <sighs> Look, see that? This one just the same. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little trick I'd like to show you now. It's a very famous egg and bag trick. <laughs> Here's the egg, here's the bag. <laughs> my teeth itch. <laughs> I went to the dentist, he said, my teeth are all right, but my gum's got to come out. <laughs> and I said... <laughs> he looked at me, and I said, I've got a terrible pain just up there. See? And... <laughs> up there it was. So he said, I'll tell you what I do. I said, what's that? Because he spoke to me. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to paint up there. He said, well, I'll tell you what, he said, I'll x-ray it. So you get these little tiny x-rays like that, a little small one like that. And you put it up there like that, and you hold it up there like that. And I'm sitting there like that. And they bring this x-ray machine in, see? And it, like there. And it went, <laughs> Just like that. He took it out and he looked at it and he said, no wonder it hurts, you've you got a finger poked up there. <laughs> egg bag bag egg. <laughs> Do you know, as I was waiting to go in the scene, the same dentist, and I was sitting reading the magazines, wasn't it awful about that Titanic? <laughs> Another saying we're vanishing in front of your very eyes. And you're... Oh, my feet are killing me. <laughs> they are every night when I'm lying in bed, they get me round the throat like that, trying to strike me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want you to watch me very, very closely. And if you see any suspicious moves, don't say anything. <laughs> this egg will vanish in front of your very eyes, and you won't have the slightest clue where it's gone. And yet, on the other hand, I got four fingers on the third. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Look, imagine you're pretty right here. You're just sliding screen where it's gone, haven't you? Hey, where? Under my arm? No. 
Another one? No, look at that. <laughs> this one? No, look at that. <laughs> Hi, how's that? <laughs> so I went to this doctor and I said, it hurts me when I do that. He said, well, don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, I had a meal last night. I ordered everything in French to surprise everybody. It was a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> and I said to this Chinese waiter, I said, look, this chicken I got here is cold. He said, well, sure, he's been dead two weeks. <laughs> I said, not only that, I said, I said, I said it twice. <laughs> I said, he's got one leg shorter than the other. He said, what do you want to do, eat it or dance with it? <laughs> I said, forget the chicken. It's making me deal now. I said, forget the chicken. I said, give me, a, give me a lobster. So he brought the lobster. I looked at it. I said, just a minute. I said, just a minute, I said. I said, you've only got one claw. He's always been in a fight. I said, well, give me the winner. Thank you. Thank you. They stopped. Thank you. <laughs> well, I must say you've been a wonderful audience. And I'd like to finish now with a little song. <laughs> I can always tell if an audience is going to be good or bad. Good night. <laughs> Spoon Jar Jar Spoon! <laughs> spoon Jar Jar! Where's one of that smoking <laughs> Spoon Jar Jar Spoon, Spoon Jar Jar. Spoon Jar, Spoon Jar Jar Spoon Spoon. Delia da 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 Rose, Rose, I've risen. <laughs> I didn't work it anymore. Look, see that glove? Second hand. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> I backed a horse today, 20 to 1. Give me 20 past 4. <laughs> he was so late coming in, he had a tiptoe back to the stable. <laughs> and the jockey kept hitting like that with a whip. Not, not, not like that, like that. <laughs> like that. And the horse said, what are you doing that for? There's nobody behind us. I bought a greyhound about a month ago. A friend of mine said, what are you going to do with it? I said, well, I'll race it. He said, well, look at it, I think you've beat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. I made it. I went to see my doctor. I had to, he's ill. So... <laughs> and he said to me, he said, can I help you? I said, yes. I said, I get these terrible dreams. He said, what's that? I said, I keep dreaming these beautiful girls keep coming towards me. Beautiful girls, I keep pushing away. They keep coming towards me, I keep pushing away. He said, what do you want me to do? I said, break me on. <laughs> he 
said, I want you to lie down on the couch. I said, what for? He said, I want to sweep up. <laughs> I said, but seriously, doctor. I said, seriously. I said, I said, seriously, doctor. Seriously, doctor. I said, I have broken my arm in several places. He said, well, you shouldn't go to this place. <laughs> Here's a pack of cards. Now, I'd like some here now at random. <coughs> Mr. Random. <laughs> Would you think of any card you like in the pack, somebody don't tell me? <laughs> think of any cards. Five. No, just think of one, sir. <laughs> Have you thought of one, sir? Right, now, this is mine, never matter. If you don't mind, I don't matter. <laughs> I put the cards in there, sir. <laughs> now this duck! <laughs> will take your chosen card from that pack. They may have seen a duck do that before. But be fair, block them. <laughs> what was your card, sir? <laughs> no, correct. No, no. <clears throat> I was cleaning up the attic last week with a wife. <clears throat> Filthy, dirty, covered in cobwebs. <clears throat> but she's good to the kids. <laughs> Oh, there's old violin. There's old violin. And this painting, all painted. So I took him to a, an expert, and he said to me, what you got there? He said, you've got a Stradivarius and a Rembrandt. Unfortunately, <laughs> Stradivarius was a terrible painter. <laughs> And red bug made rotten violins. <laughs> it's, it's a great joke. <laughs> what was it? Oh, yes. <laughs> there was a... In the jungle, see, in the jungle, and uh, there's a hyena. You know, a hyena. And he's talking, he's talking to this monkey. And he said to this monkey, he said, he said, you see that little passage, that little thing down there, a little narrow? <laughs> He said, just down there, he said, and you see those big clump of trees and bushes? And this monkey said, yes. He said, well, I go home that way every night. He said, I don't have to. But, you know, it's a shortcut for me, I go home. He said, but every time I get to that bunch of trees there, he said, this lion jumps out and throws me all over the place. He said, I don't know why he picked on me. All the time he keeps throwing me about, bashing me about. He said, and then he goes. You know, he thinks it's funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, the monkey said, I know what you mean. He said, well, I'll tell you what. He said, oh, I'll come over here tonight, you know, he said, to protect you. So he said, would you? He said, yes. So, <laughs> so they shook hands on it. Nothing in writing, just shake it. They shook it. <laughs> and he started to walk down towards this clump of trees. See? <laughs> I can't help laughing, I know what's coming next. <laughs> and he got down to this clump of trees, and he was just going to turn like that, and this lion jumped out and got this high in it, and went boom, boom, boom. And this monkey went right up the tree. And left him there, looking at him like that. And he was looking at him like that. And all of a sudden, this lion went boom, boom, and left this high in it on his back like that. He may have been like that. No, he's like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the monkey came down and was standing beside him. And this hyena's like that. And he looks up at this monkey and he said, What happened? He said, I thought you were going to help me. He said, Well, I was, he said. But when I looked down, he said, 
you were laughing so much, I thought you were winning. <laughs> I said, have you got frog's legs? <laughs> and he said, yes. I said, well, hot weather can't get me a cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Margate last summer for the summer season. A friend of mine said, you want to go to Margate? It's good for rheumatism. So I did, and I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I tried to get the hotel, it was packed, so I went to this big boarding house. And I knocked at the door of the landlady, put her head at the window. She said, what do you want? I said, I want to stay here. She said, stay there and shut the window. <laughs> <laughs> and while I was there, I bought one of the skin diving outfits. Let me see, like a frogman suit. Bought the whole thing, you know, goggles, big flippers, tank on the back. And I had a photograph taken like that and like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, do you? You never know. <laughs> And I went to the bay and I jumped in, because you're not supposed to dive and it's dangerous. And I jumped in like that. And I think I've turned a, bit, a little bit all the way down. <laughs> and I went down about 155 feet. <laughs> it was lovely, very quiet. <laughs> and I'm going along like that. <laughs> I've got the instructions here. <laughs> I started to do that like that. Yeah. Right. And the feet are going like that. Not in the front, in the back. In the back. <laughs> and I'm good at... And I don't care now, you know what I mean? I'm, just... <laughs> I'm all over the place. And, and the goggles get all misty and everything. And I'm humming to myself. <laughs> Not loud, just mm -hmm. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I saw a man walking towards me. <laughs> In a sports jacket, grey flannels. <laughs> I thought, that's unusual for a Thursday. <laughs> so I went towards him, I was moving like lightning. Like, went to <laughs> and I got right up to him, I took this pad out, and I wrote to him, what are you doing down here? Walking about in a sports jacket, Grace Flannery. <laughs> and he took this pad for me and he wrote on there, I'm drowning. <laughs> Here's a quick joke. <laughs> There's a man having a barbecue in the front garden, so he turned the spit like that and the flames are getting higher and higher. <laughs> higher and higher. See? And he's singing, Oh, solemn <laughs> being. No music. <laughs> oh, soul of me. Farewell. <laughs> and the flames are getting higher and higher. And a drunk walks by, he says, your singer's all right, but your monkey's on fire. <laughs> hey! <laughs> There's a man went into a pub, see? They got a pint of beer, he drank the beer, put the glass on the counter, turned the people on the right, and said, you're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> and he turned the people on the left, and he said, you're a bunch of fools, and walks out. Next night, he's back, pint, puts the glass on the counter, turns to the right, he says, you're a bunch of idiots, and you're a bunch of fools, and he walks out. There was a man sitting there, and he said, look, if he comes in tomorrow night, he may not come in, I don't know. <laughs> well, you don't know, do you? <laughs> well, he may, he may not. <laughs> well, you can't blame me, can you? I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to say, I don't know the fella, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care if he comes, he makes a difference to me. <laughs> but in he, in he came, he came in, got the beer, put the glass, drank the beer, put the clap on the gutter, turned the people around. He said, you're a bunch of idiots, and you're a bunch of fools. And this man said, just a minute, I'm not a fool. He said, well, join the idiots over there then. <laughs> Thank you.